And what Jennifer said was, okay, if you can tune those gold nano shells so that they can absorb light in the infrared part of the spectrum, then you've really got something. So light, it travels in waves, right? There's only a small portion of that spectrum of waves that we can see with our eyes, the visible spectrum, the Roy G. Biv, right? But if we stretch out those waves, make them a little bit fatter than they are in the red part of the spectrum, we get to what's called the infrared part of the spectrum, what comes from your remote control that controls your television. We can't see it with our eyes, but if we hit those gold nano shells with infrared light, it actually causes them to heat up. So if we can get those gold nano shells into the site of the tumor and cause them to heat up, we can use heat to kill the cells of the tumor. Now there's another really interesting thing about infrared light that Jennifer West knew that I want to demonstrate here. And I could use a volunteer to help me out. We're going to actually turn down the lights on the stage. I could use a volunteer. Anyone want a volunteer? No volunteers. It's painless, I promise. You want to come up? Come on up. Why don't you stand right here? What's your name? Ben? All right, you're going to stand here. You're actually going to face this direction because we're going to focus on that screen on the top right. Because I've got a little camera that's focused on that screen. There you can see my hand waving in front of it. So, Ben, first I've got two lights up here. The first one is what color? Green. I'll flash that in the camera so everyone can see. I've got a green light. The second one is... Uh-oh, is it broken? Let's see, let me try flashing it in the camera. Uh, so it's actually not broken. It's just giving off light in the infrared part of the spectrum. So we can't see it with our eyes, but this camera can detect the infrared light. So Ben, what I want you to do is put your left hand down here in front of the camera like this, up and up straight like that. Perfect. All right, and try to put your fingers nice and tight together. And I'm going to take the green light first and flash it on one side. Now besides a little bit that's kind of sneaking around the back of your hand, not too much exciting happens, right? Now we're going to do the same thing with the infrared light. Something very different happens. What's going on, Ben? It's shining through. It turns out that infrared light can pass through human tissue. Does this, does this hurt at all? Nope, it passes through harmlessly as well. Give Ben a big round of applause. Thank you very much for being my volunteer. So if we can have that infrared light pass through human tissue, but once it reaches the gold nano shells, it's gonna cause them to heat up. All right, so this is great, right? So now these scientists, of course, they want to test it and make sure this really works. They don't want to test it on people first. So they drove to the supermarket and they bought some chicken breast. Because it turns out that chicken breast is a really good model for human tissue. So what you're going to see next is a little video clip from the lab where they're going to take the chicken breast and inject some gold nanoshell solution into it and then shine some infrared light on it. I want you to watch what happens. That actually was a, a very exciting Eureka moment because we had, because our student, of course, uh, he took the chicken tissue and he injected uh, nanoshell solution into the chicken tissue and then he put his laser goggles on so he couldn't see very much. And then he took the chicken tissue and he held it in the laser. And he had already planned the experiment that he was going to hold it in the laser beam for 60 seconds. And after about 10 or 15 seconds, he started to smell something funny. And so he took off his laser goggles and he looked at the chicken breast and there was a black hole in smoke coming out from right where the nanoshells had been, uh, had, had been irradiated by the laser. So if we take a look at that, we can see the infrared light can pass right through the chicken breast. But as soon as we put it on the area where the gold nanoshells are, it really starts to heat up. To the point it's almost catching on fire, right? Now this may not look like a very strong or a lot of infrared light being shown, but remember, we're only seeing a little bit of that light that's kind of bleeding over into the red part of the spectrum that we can see with our eyes. So if we take a look at that same video clip, but using a camera that can detect infrared light, you'll see as soon as they turn on the infrared light, boom, there's actually a huge amount of infrared light being shown on the chicken breast. Now, I don't want to alarm you. This was a first-pass attempt at this experiment. They 
obviously we don't want to burn through your tissue in order to get um, to the gold nano shells. We only want to, to um, hurt the cells of the tumor. So they realized they need a much, much weaker laser to do the exact same job. So we wanted it to be just like when Ben was up here, that the infrared light would pass harmlessly through your body, but just cause the gold nano shells to heat up. Now, one question that might be lingering in your mind is, well, how are these gold nano shells actually going to reach the site of the tumor? So I want to go back to the model that I showed you at the beginning, this being the tumor and those orange cells representing the core of the tumor. So remember, as I said, that tumor starts, as the tumor starts to grow, it sends out these signals because it starts getting starved for oxygen and nutrients. So it's going to recruit blood vessels to start forming around the tumor. And it turns out those blood vessels are only giving the food and supplies to those white cells on the outside. They're not penetrating to the core of the tumor. So those cells on the inside say, hey, we're still starving, and they keep sending out more and more and more signals to recruit more and more and more blood vessels to the site of the tumor. Now, it turns out that these blood vessels now are a little bit different than the normal blood vessels of your body. And I've got a little demonstration to explain how. So the normal, the walls of your normal blood vessels are a very tightly knit construction, kind of like this colander that I have up here. So they are very well made, not much can get through. So if you were injected with a solution of gold nanoshells and they reached your normal blood vessels, they would just stay contained within the walls and keep circulating throughout your body. But these blood vessels surrounding the tumor were made really quickly. All these signals were sent out really fast. And so they're kind of leaky. And the walls of these blood vessels look something maybe a little more like this. There's kind of holes and pores where things can get through. So when the gold nanoshells would reach those blood vessels surrounding the tumor, they'd be able to sneak through those little holes and actually enter the site of the tumor. So we're going to put this all together. If you were a patient receiving this gold nanoshell therapy, what would happen is you would get injected with a solution of these gold nanoshells. You would wait a period of time, probably a few hours, for those gold nanoshells to stay contained within the walls of your normal blood vessels, but be able to fall through those little holes in those blood vessels surrounding the tumor, enter the site of the tumor, we could shine some infrared light from the outside of your body onto that area. It's gonna cause those gold nanoshells to heat up just enough that we can kill those cells of the tumor and they can be dispersed and then removed from the body. So that's the idea of how this therapy would work. Um, and the real goal was to make it a targeted therapy. So we could just affect the cells of the tumor and not other healthy cells of the body. Now, I do want to stress that this is still in the research phase, so you cannot go to your physician yet and request a gold nanoshell therapy. But these scientists are about to apply to what's called clinical trials. So that means they will be tested on human patients. That process can still take about five to seven years, depending on how successful everything is, but it's definitely something to keep your eyes and ears open about. Um, this is actually a huge area of research, nanomedicine. There are lots of scientists that are working in this. I've just presented one story here today. There are scientists working on lots of different ways to treat various types of cancer in a very targeted fashion. So if you want any information um, about the research topic I discussed today, there's a website that I refer you to. I have it printed on a piece of paper as well if you'd like to take it with you when you go. If you have any questions about anything I talked about today, I'd be happy to answer them if you just want to come up to the stage. I hope you have a great day at the Museum of Science. Thank you very much for your attention.